I was a pre-med student at Berkeley, and he was the alpha pod leader of a herd of diplodocid sauropods. It could never work between us. But that cold logic meant nothing when our eyes met across the swampy waters of the grove that twilight evening. Have you ever looked at a dinosaur and thought, hmm, I would fuck that dinosaur? No? Uh, yeah, no, me, me neither. That'd be weird. I am not with this guy, and I do not know him. So this video is going to be about Wet Hot Allosaurus Summer. Uh, I'll, I'll get a picture of the cover, so I don't have to hold it up in front of the camera. Who's going to love this book? Have you ever wanted to read Dinosaur Erotica? Well, then you're going to love this book. Uh, there's not really much else to say. Um, you can see it all right there on the cover. Uh, if you like erotica and you're like, you know, I'm, I'm tired of vampires and sexy vampires and sexy werewolves. I need something a little more cold-blooded. Yeah, I know. Dinosaurs probably had warm... Did they have warm blood? They had feathers? They evolved into birds? I don't know. Do we know? I'm not even sure we know. So part two, who's going to hate this book? Well, um, there's not much story here. In fact, there's hardly any story at all. And the story that there is is extremely disappointing. It, it doesn't really conclude, and then when it does conclude, it like concludes in really weird ways. Um, the book is really thin, and also a lot of it is just like padded with um, if dinosaurs were writing like Maxim magazine like sex tips, which sounds hilarious, but it's kind of lackluster. Also, I should say that. Uh, when I say it's dinosaur erotica, it's not dinosaur on dinosaur, it's like dinosaur on human. And the dinosaurs, like, in most of the stories, they're, like, smart enough where they can consent, but in some of them, like, it's unclear? There's some real iffy stuff about this book. Don't look at me, don't talk to me, I am burying my face out of embarrassment. Part 3, what I thought of it. Yeah, so, um, you know, I saw this book online and I thought it would be hilarious if I got this um, for my wife and we read it together. Uh, and at first it was. The very first story in this book uh, is exactly what I expected from the cover and from Dinosaur Erotica, right? And... Uh, Mostly, it was pretty good um, until the end, which I felt was a huge letdown. But that little short story, it takes up like maybe a quarter of this book, maybe less. And the rest of it is just sort of like snippets and incomplete stories and like the like Maxim magazine, like sex tip type thing I was talking about. And not very well written and um, not very interesting. So um, my biggest... Uh, takeaway or, or your biggest takeaway from this video should be a uh, book about dinosaur sex doesn't contain nearly enough dinosaur sex which is a weird thing to say but that's kind of my feelings on this yeah there's also just no story no plot whatsoever um, certainly not beyond the first the first little short story which is just a fraction of the book itself so um, this ended up just being really disappointing. I think there's a lot better fan fiction out there if you're looking for any sort of erotica. Honestly, I think a lot of fan fiction writers could write some really good fan fiction, should write some really good dinosaur erotica if they wanted. And that's like, this felt like mediocre fan fiction. Not very good. A lot of the stories are also incomplete. They just kind of end, or like right in the middle. A lot of times they don't even get to the sex. It's like building up to having sex with dinosaurs and then you don't get there. So like dino blue balls, I guess is what you're left with. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird and even for weirdness that it might've been going for, not very good. Yeah, disappointed by this one, I'm afraid.